Hey, what's going on? It's Rick here with an early look at the Poetic Tri Book for your iPad Mini. I received this as a sample from Poetic. And when this releases in just a short while here, it is going to have the sleep awake, I've been informed. My uh, preview copy here does not have the sleep awake, so keep that in mind as I show this to you. If you want to pre-order this or pick it up, take a look at the description of this video because I will include a link there. And again, Poetic is really pricing this very competitively. So I've got it in purple. And it also comes in other colors, black, and I believe uh, there might be a couple other ones there. It is a leather-like material, resembles leather, looks like leather, feels like leather, but it's not. You've got some poetic branding. It's uh, kind of a shiny brand uh, branding there. And the inside is a very soft microfiber. Now let's go ahead and undo the Velcro, and I am going to pop the mini in here. Should work just fine with screen protectors because all you're really doing here is sliding this into place. And uh, then you're going to pop this Velcro right behind the mini where the Velcro meets the Velcro to keep that firmly in place. And that's all there is to it. So let's close it up. Uh, I do have magnets here and here that help to keep this lid closed when it flips upside down. So I don't have any issue with that. I've shown you the front already, but we'll take a look rather quickly here and you can see what that looks like. Here is the spine and I like this. It feels very nice in the hand. Here's the back of it. You can see your camera cut out right here and that is perfectly fine as well. Up along the top, this is what we're looking at. Everything is completely exposed and there should be no issue with compatibility of headphones with this because it it is completely exposed. Along the side, you can see what that's going to look like. Again, completely exposed, no problems there. We do get a loop here for a stylus if you got one. Would have liked to seen it move down here just so it doesn't get in the way of these buttons. Uh, but it is what it is, and that's what we've got here. Down below, you've got your speakers. Again, completely exposed. None of them are covered in any way, shape, or form. And your lightning connector, same thing there. So compatibility with, let's say, things like the 30-pin to lightning connector should not be an issue with this one. Let's go ahead and open it on up. We'll take a look at this case. Uh, it's going to add a little bit of bulk, uh, not too much weight. It's actually surprisingly light. Uh, but if we take a look here at the home button, you're going to see it comes right to the edge. So the case doesn't cover the home button, but you certainly will feel the case when you press that home button. Up along the top, totally fine for your camera and your light sensor. And none of your screen is covered by the bezel, as you can see here. So it actually uh, kind of works just fine. Now, uh, this is a tri-fold, or as they call it, the tri-book, because it works like a smart cover. You fold it on up, and we're going to get a couple of different stand options here. So here's your first one, uh, your typical kind of viewing angle here. And then let me go ahead and show you the other one, which is more so of a typing angle. Let me get that flat here. And that's what that one's going to look like. So this is the poetic tri-book. And I'm not going to give it a review score now because I don't want to do that until I get a final production version of this. But it is very impressive, especially for the price that they're offering it at. So check out the link in the description of this video for details on that. Otherwise, if you guys have questions, comments, or feedback, as always, please feel free to let me know. Otherwise, I will talk to you next time. Take care, everybody, and have fun.